Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Warcraft Rumble campaign guide, I'm going to take a look at Azeroth in Winter Spring. The key feature of the Azeroth encounter is an endless, endless swarm of whelps. There's going to be whelps coming from the right side and going to the left side, and that migration of whelps is just never ending, and that makes it really difficult to move around in the Azeroth map. Also, the towers are dragon towers, so the towers are going to breathe flame, and that flame deals more damage the closer your mini is, and that damage is elemental damage. So that's also going to be important when we talk about this a little bit in more detail. There's two towers, there's two gold veins that are pretty difficult to access, there's a chest. And then there's Azuros, and Azuros also has mini whelp eggs around her, so if any of those whelp eggs are killed, then whelps will spawn and new whelp eggs will come out. To replace them so yeah just a lot of whelps and very difficult to move so my overall plan for this one is to create a safe corridor to move to azeros i will not take this tower i do not care about this gold vein i try to mine this gold vein when i get a chance but i'm just trying to push through this tower go through here and get to azeros deliver some damage create a safe corridor use units that are good at killing whelps so what are those units this is the army that I killed Azuros with. It was a Gromash Hellscream army, although Gromith, Grom actually did nothing, nothing at all in this map. What did do stuff in this map is Dark Spear Troll, Griffin Rider, and Pyromancer. Three excellent units to shoot down whelps. So Troll, Griffin Rider, and Pyromancer are going to create my safe corridor so that I can go to Azuros. And with this team, the unit that I'm sending to Azeroth is Gargoyle, because Gargoyles are awesome. I also have a safe pilot, just a little bit of flexibility, some unbound unit power, and I have Fire Elemental, because Fire Elemental is good at drawing fire from the whelps and also drawing fire from the Dragon Tower, and because it has resistance, then it's really good against all that elemental damage. Actually, I probably would have been better served by a Quillbore than Fire Elemental. I could have positioned Quillbore over there, far behind the tower, so that it would aggro the tower, but it wouldn't take the full damage from the blast. And then the ranged DPS just comes in. I think that would have been a superior plan. But I went with Fire Elemental, and this didn't prove to be that difficult once I had the right strategy in place overall, so I just went through with that. Also, Azuras has Banshees, and Banshees can steal your Gargoyle, and that's really annoying. Luckily, when your gargo gets stolen, well, you can try to prevent it, you can try to guard it with safe pilot, for example. But even if it gets stolen, it's not the end of the world because you have this safe corridor that's guarded by the Griffin Riders, by the Trolls, and by the Pyromancers. Slow units that are progressing through here, killing all the whelps, and just killing that gargo too. And apply some pressure, and Azuros will fall. And this is what it all looks like in action. So here we go up against Azuros. You cannot redo campaign missions, and this is something I had planned for, but I didn't end up finalizing the team like in 100% perfect, because I just won the first try when I could, got the team together. So here I'm using the Fire Elemental to push at the tower, but I think a Quillbore behind the tower could have been stronger. But anyway, we managed to get through with what we have here, so that's awesome. And now we start to work on creating that safe corridor. Sometimes I'm placing the Griffin Rider a little bit too close to the whelps and it's taking some damage because Griffin Rider should not take damage from the whelps. And as you can see, Troll, Pyromancer, they're just knocking down those whelps real quick. And now we have the first Gargoyle that's on its way towards the boss. And we have Gargoyle has the bodyguards. As you can see, Troll, Pyro, they're just protecting the Gargoyle from everything, they're destroying everything. There I placed the Griffin Rider a little bit too close to the whelps, I should have placed it a little bit more towards the left, then it wouldn't have taken any damage. And now I noticed that, hey, there's actually a Molten Giant on its way to my base, and I probably will have to do something about that. So, well, I have a Gargoyle that has reached Azeroth, which is nice, and look at Azeroth's health is going down, it's going downtown. But I do need something to handle the Molten Giant. I'm sacrificing a cobalt to it, probably not the smartest choice. I guess I could have waited for a fire elemental, and then that could have tried to tank it. But now I'm putting some units here. Again, the Griffin Rider should have been positioned a little bit further so that it would actually go to the left path, but that Pyromancer positioning was now good. And then, with those units out there, Molten Giant Threat has been handled, and we can focus on creating a safe corridor again. Now, as you can see, my Gargoyle was Banshee'd while my attention was elsewhere. I might have been able to save it, I'm not completely certain. 
beta does it may, the same units are creating a safe corridor for the gargoyle, are also able to take down the gargoyle should one get mind controlled. And now gargoyle and the bodyguards on their way again. And here we have the Griffin Rider taking down the whelps. As you can see, it can take down whelps just before they get to do anything. The safeguards are there. Now I would need to pay a little bit more attention over there in order to prevent any Banshee place, and I didn't. And now, as a consequence, my gargoyle got mind controlled. But you can see how strong this comp is for this specific map. When even when that happens, okay, like yeah, that happened. Sure, fine. I don't mind. I just make another gargoyle and set that out. I actually send a Grom out here. Well, Grom does give the gargoyle bloodlust, so gargoyle deals even more damage if it reaches the target. But I probably would have been better off just saving for a safe pilot to potentially try to protect the gargoyle with that. Either way, Gargoyle reaches Azuros, and now Azuros is taking quite a bit of damage. Azuros has a sliver of health left here. I think, hey, maybe I can finish this off with a safe pilot. Mm, turns out that I couldn't, but that's okay. I'm just going to cycle with the cheapest minis that I can think of until I get to another safe pilot, and that is going to finish the job. I know because Azuros, I mean, the health bar is no longer even visible. So we just cycle with the cheapest minis, I even throw the miner out there just to cycle, cycle, cycle. And all right, safe pilot is available again. And actually even the Griffin Rider and Troll are reaching Azuros, so those would already do it. But safe pilot, boom, victory. And that's Azuros down. Just keep the whelps away, and that's your key to victory. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.